Hi, it's Tom Cheswick, professional photographer and digital retouch artist. In this series of videos, I'm going to go over how I retouch a face. Um, I break it down into four sections. First, I attack the skin, then work on the eyes, the mouth, and finally the hair. And in this tutorial, we're going to be doing part two, enhancing the eyes. And I use On One Photo Raw and I break it down into three local adjustments. I find one brush just doesn't make it work. So first thing I'd like to do is to whiten and brighten the eyes. And so if somebody has some reds or um, veins in their eyes, this will help whiten those. And then also um, it will just add more white and light of the eyes. Then we'll move on to darkening the pupil and the edge of the iris. This just gives a little bit more definition to the eyes. And then finally, we're going to make the iris pop. And that's what really creates a dynamic image. So let's go into an image of Katie that I took. This was the overall image. And I kind of like this background. We were in Jerome. Um, but the lighting on the eyes just was a little flat. So we're going to come in and I'm doing a crop section of her eyes so we can get a little bit better look. And this is after I retouched them. So there's quite a bit of an enhancement. And the way that I achieved that is going into the develop mode and again using three local adjustments. And let's collapse these down so you can kind of see them one at a time. This was whitening of the eyes. This was defining the pupils and the edge of the iris. And finally, enhancing the iris, the pop. So I'm going to get rid of these and we'll just do it one at a time. So first one, again, whiten and brighten. The way that we achieve that is we up the exposure. Now, if there's veins or things like that, we don't want to enhance that at all. We want to lower the detail, kind of blur those parts out. Temperature, if there is a little bit of a red, if we bring down the temperature, that helps. But another great way to tackle that is with saturation. Okay, so with the local adjustment brushes, we now need to paint in on the eyes. So I'm going to just bring this image up a little bit. Okay, and we already have our brush. The feathering is great. The opacity is, I set at 36. That's okay. Brush size, again, it's going to depend on the size of the eyes, but this works pretty nice. I'm just going to kind of go in on those whites. Now when you're doing eyes, you have to always remember the lower part of the whites are brighter than the upper parts of the whites. So don't try to do it totally even and concentrate more towards the bottom. You want to have a little depth and dimension to those eyes. So that again, tops need to be darker than the bottoms. All right, so that's looking really nice. Now, if we messed up, a um, quick way to look at where we painted in is here. So I did just catch a little bit of here, the lower edge of her eye. So I'm going to hit X to go to paint out mode. And we can just kind of come in, grab that a little bit. And we also went into the iris just over here. Perfect. But everything else looks pretty good. And again, you don't have to be perfect to get great results. Okay, so we're just going to play with the exposure, see how that looks. Come on up, we'll turn it on and off. And if that's a little bit too strong, we can always use our opacity to dial down. Okay, so that's our whiten and brighten. Now we're going to add an adjustment level. And this one, we just need to bring down the exposure. On this, I like to do 100% opacity. And because I don't want to go over and redefine the eyes. 
and I'm just going and we have to make sure we're back in paint mode so I could have just hit the X button for that okay and now with a real small brush just going on the edge of her iris perfect okay so now that looks a little bit strong we can either dial back the exposure or I like to just go into opacity and kind of play around with that setting there we go something around there and again we can turn it on and off see what the results are again this part is just giving a little definition to the bottom the outside edge of the iris and making the pupil a little darker and finally we're going to do one more local adjustment and this is the one where we're going to make the irises pop so this part is a lot of fun and probably adds, adds the most dramatic elements to the eyes okay so what I did I selected the HDR and most of the settings are pretty good right out of the box I'm going to just brighten it a little bit and since she has brown eyes we're going to bring this temperature way way up and saturation way way up and it's going to look really really fake when I first start out so don't get crazy about that I'm going way overboard just to show you what the options are now this is the white catch lights here and what you want to do is you want to make kind of a crescent moon but opposite to the catch lights so don't just do the bottom of the eyes like this because that's not really how the eyes are lit they're actually the opposite of the catch lights and for some reason my pressure sensitive brush is not working today but you'd want to kind of just make more of a crescent moon shape and we'll kind of see how that looks and again it doesn't have to be exact okay that's looking pretty good now this is where I said we're making it look really fake but we can just drop the opacity way down and get it precisely how we want it and that's a little strong somewhere in there is looking pretty nice come on up and we can do before and after perfect so that's looking really nice Katie's eyes are looking great again next pro tip is what happens if she has blue eyes or green eyes well instead of making the temperature going way up if we take it all the way down that's going to look great on somebody who has blue eyes we're, we're not using this to change the color of eyes we're actually uh, intensifying the colors of their eyes and if they have green eyes just play with this slider down here and again we're making it look fake here but with green eyes it would actually look very nice but back for her eyes we're just going to play with that get it exactly how we want it and have a great look to the eyes so thanks so much for joining me for part two we'll be doing part three and four as well take care and have a great day